Hey, KIC here. Welcome to Alpha 9. Yep, RimWorld time. So we got Scooter Nana and Elida. 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 I'm not sure which is which. These are some interesting characters by my usual standards. So look at that. I actually took a careful shooter. I don't know. I'm an idiot. What can I say? Actually, I'm not. Well, maybe I am, but... Not that careful shooters are necessarily bad. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of them. Anyway, this is Alpha 9. Yes, it's been out a while. Yes, I haven't been playing it. Yes, that's because I had an Alpha 8 series going, and that one is done. So if you haven't watched my Alpha 8 series, well, give it a whirl. I found it to be rather entertaining. I like to play with strange rules, and in that case, I played with the rule of only cannibals. So if you weren't a cannibal, you were not allowed into the colony. Boom, that was it. Not a cannibal? Get out. Here we go. We are playing in an arid shrubland. Why? Why not? I haven't played in one before. And we're actually playing on the coast, so this is deep water, which means no one's going to be attacking from the east. But they can still walk through this stuff, so they might attack from the north or from the south and just kind of climb up through the coast here. So, taking a quick look at the map. Arid shrubland. Flatland. That is the biggest hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it, and that is quite a ways away. And you know what? I am not building over there. Do you know why? Because I like to play by stupid rules. I'm going to be building right about here. Why? Well, one, two, and where are you? I thought I saw three. Boom, there you go. Three of them. That's why. I'm also playing a do not build into mountain challenge, which will be pretty easy considering it's all the way over there. So... Let's go ahead and we gotta we gotta get stuff done. We gotta get stuff started. We gotta get I don't know, we gotta be doing stuff. So here, let's let's take care of things here. We need to create a new growing zone. We'll do a six by six. We'll do another six by six that has some rocks in the way. That's not going to be ideal. We'll do a five by five. And we'll do another five by five. So this one is going to be Zerigium. My favorite. Zerigium. This one is going to be something. How about rice? Why not? We like rice. Potatoes, you stay potatoes. And you will be strawberries. Boom. So, we have one grower. That's going to be painful. We need to do some other stuff here. In fact, I should probably... You know, maybe mark all that out to be mined. But that worries me a little bit. Because I just foresee roofs collapsing. So let's do something like that and hope the roof doesn't collapse. In fact, I would rather mine that spot out. We're going to do that. One of the fun things with Alpha 9, you no longer have to claim things. It, it, they are just yours. I rather like that. We need to build some stuff. We need some, not those, we need some wood walls. Because these are going to be the makeshift buildings for the time being. I don't know. Let's... I want to actually build somewhat near these guys. So let's go... Right there. No, I don't like that one. Let's try that again. We're going to go right there. 16. That'll be big enough. By 11. Sure, we'll call that good. And we'll do something like that. I know it is not at all even. It's going to bother someone. Whoever you are that doesn't like that it's symmetrical, I'm sorry. It's not going to bother me. It'll probably bother me, but I'm not going to let it bother me too much. Anyway. We need to do some stuff here. All sorts of stuff. It's the beginning of a colony. There's about a billion and one things to do. Should probably mark some trees to be cut down too, because we're gonna need more wood. It is the beginning after all, so let's... That one's not ready to go. Eh, whatever those ones are. That'll be fine. Okay, first thing to do. Everyone is on cleaning and hauling. Good, perfect. We also need to make some stockpiles, so stockpile it up. Let's stockpile it up right there. This is going to be a temporary thing, obviously, because we need to build indoor stuff for Alpha 9. Otherwise, things deteriorate. Fun, fun. That's a mechanic I haven't really had a whole lot of experience with yet, so I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. And yep, there's vent right there. Could have built over there. There might even be another one in here. You never know. But build way the heck over here, and that kind of guarantees you can't cheat and build inside of stuff. Look at that. Boom. We have a building. That's exciting. We need some sleeping spots. I'm going to make sure it's sleeping spot that I'm putting down. Yes, it's a sleeping spot. And we'll do something like that. Oh, I know that's just bugging someone. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't cackle horribly about that, but 
I know it's bothering someone. Sorry. Ah, oh, man, it's going to bother me. I know it is. I shouldn't laugh. I'm. That's going to drive me bonkers. I'm going to need to fix that. I don't like that. That looks terrible. Ah, whatever. Anyway, we have some bonus food around. It's a good thing. Those aren't going to spoil. Happy about that. Got some rice plants growing. That's pretty cool. That's going to be fully grown nice and soon. I like that. This stuff will be grown pretty soon here. Should have some plants to harvest tomorrow, which means we probably need to work on getting more materials here. So first thing to do with, yes, I know we need a research bench, but fine, 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 sorry. Go away, I know that. I just, I'm getting ahead of myself. Production, research bench, not wood. No, not steel, wood, boom, perfect. So we're going to do that, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, that you can still do something like, we're going to find out. Let's do wood, wood, and wood, and we'll see if they will still do that. I don't know, they did that in Alpha 8, it was handy. It's a good way to, ooh, look at that, we should go ahead and harvest that, huh? Where is the orders? Harvest. You. I'm used to playing with enhanced UI, and it's really weird to me to not be able to just click on something and have a button that magically does things that are associated with that. Ooh, look at that. We got some agave plants laying around. That's exciting. And we have a boom rat. Ah, uh, we probably need to be careful about that one. I don't know. Whatever. Grab some more steel. Someone's going to make a table eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Not sure. I'm hoping someone will make a table. I guess it's time to go to manual already. I was planning on not going to manual just yet. Constructing, you are the only constructor. You're a good one. You're terrible. You are terrible too. So you guys, you can all construct. You know what? We haven't done a quick tour of the character, so let's do that because they're busy doing stuff. So we have Scooter here, the miner. Check him out. Scooter is a miner. He likes to punch people. He's really excited about shooting people. And he likes to build things, too. He's also neurotic. I don't normally take neurotic. He's a hard worker. That's awesome. And he's psychically deaf, which means I don't care about psychic probes for him. Then we have Elida here. Elida, Elida. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I'm going to say Elida. She likes to grow stuff. She's a pretty good doctor. And she likes to shoot things. I think that's a pretty interesting combination. Maybe she likes to shoot things so she can practice her medicine. I'm not sure. But she's also a careful shooter. I'm not a big fan of those. We'll see how that goes. She has chemical fascination. They're idle. I'm going to pause it because now I'm just wasting time on that. Nana here is a heck of a researcher. She likes to talk. She likes to kind of do other things. And no one here is a really good cook. So Nana is going to be the default cook, which means it's going to be terrible for everyone. You don't cook. Nana, you cook. And you are the bomb diggity researcher, so researching is your new favorite. And let's see, who's a good doctor? You are a good doctor. You are not a great doctor. You can be a number four doctor. You're a number one doctor because you're a good doctor. Really good doctor. And I'm kind of worried about leaving someone at four there. That might end up backfiring. So we need more plant cutting, don't we? Everyone plant cut. Cuts plants. Plant cuts. Yes, cut plants. Everyone needs to do that. Why? Because we need wood so people can start building things. You're just standing around. You're not doing anything. That's bad. We need more structures. We need more wooden walls. We need stuff. Mm, let's not connect that just yet. We can always connect it later. So we'll do... Doom. Hmm. We got a vent right there. That's going to be interesting. We're actually going to build this one right here. We'll do... Ah, Crash Town. Fantastic. So we'll do something like that. That's going to be a 10. That'll be, sure, a 10 and another 10. And, hmm, I somehow built that wrong. And I'm going to continue to do so. Ha, ah, take that. We'll put a door right there. And then we need to build another wall, maybe like so. Yeah, I like this. This is coming together. This is awful, but it's coming together. It's coming together awful well. It's really not, but I'm saying it is. Tough. I'm not sure if we need one. I'm going to put one right there just to be safe. Yep, we got some visitors. Great. We also need to cut down some more trees. Chop wood. Chop, chop. 
Chop. Chop away, my friends. Chop away. We need more wood. We need lots more wood. Please, chop away. Cacti do not provide much wood. Not at all. This is going to be terrible. We do have a table, so let's go ahead and research. First thing we need, stone cutting. Stone cutting is the best thing in the world. You don't have stone cutting, you don't have a building. Yep, I know we need a meal source. It's called potatoes and rice and berries and stuff sitting right there on the ground. Ooh, I like rice. That doesn't spoil very quickly. Berries sure do, though. If these guys will actually cut things down, then we can actually start building things. Maybe, 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 maybe what I need to do is let's do another zone, growing zone. We'll do one six by six, and you are not going to be whatever you think you're going to be. You are going to be pine trees. We need some trees. We need a lot of trees. I know, there are a lot of trees around, but they're mostly cacti. That's not helpful. Poplar. Ooh, poplar's good. We can get some good wood out of poplar. Looking forward to that. Oh, what do we got? Local squirrel, local squirrel. You are going crazy. How you doing? What are you doing? You're attacking Elida. Where's Elida? Elida's over here. Elida, how you doing? You are sowing a plant. Go ahead and take a shot. You're a good, careful shot. Do it. That's the shot you take and you're a careful shot. That's the shot you take and you're a careful shot. Okay. Just melee attack the squirrel. You are terrible. Come on. You can take it. It's just a squirrel. Do it. Smash it with your gun. I don't know. Do something. How are you doing? Health. You got scratched. Well, at least you didn't maintain, maintain, take any major scratches. Hey, how about this? Can you shoot at the squirrel now? Good job. And undo. Great. Done. Oh, look at that. What is that? That's an iguana. Ooh, that's exciting. I actually really like that. That's pretty cool. Iguana's running around. That's awesome. Is anyone chopping wood? No one is chopping wood. And Elida, you're just going to walk around and bleed, aren't you? You should probably... Here, let's get you furniture. Sleeping spot. We'll do one right there. You are now the medical bed. And you're going to go lie down in that. And with any luck, someone is going to give you a hand. Look at that. Scooter, try not to die. Because there's a very flimsy roof right over your head. Don't die, please. Thank you. Hmm. Is Elida the doctor? She's probably the doctor. Yep, she is. Of course. Awesome. So, someone will take care of her. Nana, maybe? Nana, you're the backup doctor, right? Character. Yep, you're the backup doctor. So, as soon as you're done, you ready? You ready? Get up. You ready? You gonna take care of her? I hope you're taking care of her. Yep, you are. Great, good job. Take care of her. And someone go cut trees down because we need more wood. I mean, look at that. There's five right there. That's not enough to build a wall. Come on. Oh, great. Good job. Elida's light is back up. And she is now harvesting potatoes. Look at that. We got potatoes everywhere. This is a terrible start. And I... Man. Okay. Scooter. You need to stop what you're doing. And Scooter, where are you? You need to plant cut like crazy. Go chop wood. It's fine that you're a good miner. Appreciate that. We got a lot of steel lying around right now. But go chop these stupid things down. Chop them down. Good. Chop. Keep chopping. You keep chopping. All right. Keep chopping. Good job. So, we also need some power. One of the big changes with Alpha 9. Wind is no longer a... I'm going to say overpowered source of power. So, that's not what I want. I wanted this box. Because we need geothermal power. Research. Done. So that means I'm going to need some solar suction power. Where's the power? Solar generator. We're going to pop that down. I don't know. Where's that going to go? Right there? Right there. How about... Hmm. Hmm. We're going to do it right there. That's a good spot. It's a terrible spot, but it's a good spot. It's going to have to do. And then we're going to run some power conduits right through these nice flaming walls. Well, they're not flaming yet, but they will be. You just wait and see. Don't you dare doubt that it, these walls will burn. It's going to happen. Scooter's making short work of these stupid trees and cacti. They're really not stupid, but I'm just kind of annoyed that it's taken so long and there's really not any wood. This is... Hmm. I wasn't planning on there being a wood problem. 
that's kind of new to me. So we're just going to have to see how this works out. Are these trees? They're not trees. Hmm. Growing season. Here now. So what are we doing? Uh, I don't see any trees growing. Where are the trees? Someone? Someone want to grow me a tree? Grow me a tree, please. Look at that. The rice is about ready to go. That's cool. I'm excited about that, actually. Really am. I'm happy to see the food coming along. I was goofing around earlier and, um, yeah, I kind of ran out of food. Oops. Sorry. Oh, we should probably do some hunting too, huh? I mean, it couldn't hurt just to, well, no sense doing any hunting right now just because there's no real food set up. So someone build a generator, please. And then when you're done with that, let's go ahead and cook stove. Door, cook stove, cook stove, cook stove should be right there. That way it's near where stuff is being stored. Try to reduce the walk as much as possible. Probably didn't need to put conduit as far as I did, but oh well, too late. I know I could get rid of it. I'm fine with it. It's not a big deal. That building is more or less complete. That's exciting. Happy about that. This is terrible. It's taken forever to do anything. And I was complaining about that in my last game. You should watch that one. You'll understand why I actually was complaining about it. There was a... Hmm, there was a real reason for that. This one, not so much. This is just the beginning. So, you know, it's going to take a while to do everything. It's not a big deal. But pretty good progress so far. Got a squirrel. Should also mention we are playing on Cassandra Challenge. This is a 100% challenge game. Should have mentioned that right up front. Sure didn't. Did I? Nope, I didn't. I suspect at some point this might get turned up to extreme. That will depend on how quickly I die, or how quickly these guys die, since I'm not planning on dying. Certainly hope not. It's good to see that they can still use the table to eat on. That's cool. Definitely happy about that. Nana is researching away. Must be a solar yeah, sun eclipse. That's what it's called, an eclipse. Yeah. It suddenly got dark in the middle of the day. Look at that. Wood's coming up. It's coming together. It's coming together. It's almost done. Got that little pillar in there. Don't know if it's necessary, but I have it. Boom, done. And how come we don't have any power? Because there's an eclipse. Ah. Bummer. Eclipse. I don't like eclipse. Eclipses. Eclipse eye. Eclipses. I don't know. They're annoying. So let's go ahead and build another wall because we need more walls. We don't really have any wood. Whatever. Stone cutting. Maybe we'll do some stone cutting. Production. We can't make a stone cutting table. Yes, we can. Awesome. Stone cutting table. That's going to go right there. Someone stone cut it up for me, please. Because we can pretty much do it. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Done. Ha! My timing was actually pretty decent on that. Oh, that's right. That was geothermal. Eh, whatever. I'm an idiot. Someone build a stone cutting table for me, please. We need more wood. We need more steel. Surely there's got to be wood around. Yep. Look at that. There's some wood around. A little bit. Table. Give me a table. Boom. Done. Bill. We need a bill. Make stone blocks. Make a bunch of them. Make plenty of them. That'll be good. Cooking table. Cooking stove. Whatever you are. Cook simple meal. Big. We're going to do until we have 10. Since it defaults 10. And who is going to be cooking? Someone is Nana. Yeah. You're going to be cooking. Whenever there's power, you're going to be cooking. So let's go ahead and increase this stockpile. I want I, Does that kind of work? Yeah, that still kind of works. It's kind of a cheesy way to do things, but that still works. Good job. Perfect. So we'll do that. And then suppose we should probably move things around such that we're not storing all the everything in here. But for right now, it's going to be fine since it's mostly food and stuff. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a hot game. This is pretty much as cool as it gets, I think. Something like that. We are in January, after all. Ah, dead squirrel. I forgot about that. And it's rotting. Bummer. Guess we need a new dumping stockpile, so let's go ahead and put that... We'll put that over here for now. And that's the dumping stockpile, so that's going to be for... There we go. We'll do preferred don't really want them moving chunks around, but I don't think we'll do that. But someone will eventually move that corpse, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Look at that. Nana's going to cook. That's dangerous. But she's going to cook. Don't get sick. Are you sick? Good, you're not sick. 
I'm not sure I trust you to be cooking, but you're our best cook, so you gotta do it. Preferably, you're gonna cook a lot and get some levels. Quickly, 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 quickly. Actually, you're not doing too badly. Well, that was as much as she could do before sundown. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get around to doing something about wind, something like that, but I think the real plan is just to do solar and my favorite, geothermal. So we have some blocks now, 80 blocks. It's a good start. And what do we have going on here? Oh, we got the deadbeat outfit coming in to attack. So before we do that, let's just look into dropping some granite walls. Do something like that. 48, that'll be about as many blocks as we have. So I'm just going to plan that a couple more get made. And we'll do something like that. Probably should maybe run this out like so, maybe something like that. Let's do that. That that sounds like a better idea. So we're going to cancel this. And on the next episode, we're going to see these guys attack. So these guys, key. It's a naked guy. Naked? <laughs> uh, make your own joke as you see fit. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.